Also tonight, the Belle Fountain Police Department is getting national attention over how it is gaining that community's trust. Behind us, you are looking at an officer and safety pup, just one of the many examples of how that department is reaching out to its residents. Robert Lowry live to show us how it's what's working in the Miami Valley. After layoffs and budget cuts, the Bell Fountain police chief says there was a major disconnect with the community. So much, in fact, that in one troubled area, they had a 13% drop in calls to the police department. In the past few years, the department has renewed several programs to rebuild people's trust. In the heart of Logan County, you won't find too many complaints. The Bell Fountain is all right. Yeah. It's a good time. Kermit Knox has lived here pretty much all his life. There's a lot going on in his hometown he's proud to see. At the top of that list, the Bell Fountain Police Department. We want everybody to feel like we're here to serve them. That's our job. That's what we get paid to do, and I take it very seriously. Bell Fountain Police have been focusing on just that, community service, bringing back programs that were victims to layoffs and budget cuts. We're not waiting for something bad to happen. We want to build uh, relationships and break down walls and barriers that that anyone may have. Since he took the job three years ago, Chief Brandon Stanley says there's been at least three milestones for the department. One of those was bringing back the D.A.R.E. program to schools after it was cut in 2004. Officers also have six or seven gatherings in the community getting police face to face with those they serve. And last year, the department also graduating its first ever class from the New Citizens Police Academy. We've been able to uh, break down some barriers in, in neighborhoods that only see the police riding down the car and, and, and riding down the street in a car, and uh, or when there's trouble. It's putting a renewed emphasis on that final word in protect and serve, giving people like Kermit a beating sense of pride in the heart of Logan County. And because of that work, the Bell Fountain Police Department is up for a RISE Award that is sponsored by Taser and Police One. The chief hopes to know by the end of September if the department has won. Reporting Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.